Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? My name's a flying chicken. Uh, quite a while ago now, someone asked me to do a free for all on sniper. Um, yeah, sorry, yeah, free for all using a sniper rifle. And I said I would. I've uh, just not got around to it until now. And uh, I had a good game, so I thought I would um, upload it for you guys. Do a bit of a, a chit chat commentary for you. And uh, get it out of the way with. Um, I think I this, I think this came about because um, I was talking to somebody about screen targets. Um, I, I think I, I was selling a screen target to this guy, and he wanted to just sit, you know see me in action using them basically. So that's how it came about. Um, so yeah, this is to whoever asked me to uh, do this video. It's uh, here it is. Um, quite a uh, quite a campy one. Well, like it's off patrol in a very small area, um, but you have to basically to uh, get a good good game. Um, basically, you got to keep your back to the wall. And if you start running around like a, like a headless chicken, then um, you're gonna fail. But if you patrol an area like I'm doing here, then you know you're gonna gonna get a few more a few more kills than you would normally. Yeah. So uh, to anybody who has been watching my other videos. Um, You'll know that my fiance was pregnant and we were expecting a little boy. Um, a week ago today, she gave birth to a little boy. He was seven pounds fifteen ounces. If anyone cares, then um, yeah, he's uh, he's lovely. It's 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 actually quite weird to one day not have a baby and then the next day to have a baby. Uh, it's weird in a good way, but it's still weird. So I uh, just thought I'd fill you in on that. It's called Jake, by the way. I like that name, Jake. So yeah. Anyhow, um, what am I doing? I think I was doing a an optimistic seven nine eleven kill streak setup on this one. Um, if you can hit the seven and last out to get the eleven, then you know you're uh, you know you're gonna get a lot of kills as a reward. Um, unfortunately, I got my payload and missed getting my AC one thirty. Um, but hey ho, as always, next time. Um, yeah, so I've been practicing a hell of a lot with this sniper rifle now. Um, I think my advice would be uh, get a group of mates and literally just go into free for all search and destroy private match and do nothing but quick scope him. Um, that's what I did. At first, I couldn't do it to begin with. You know, it's it is literally just a case of practice, 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 practice. Um, but. Um, I find it very, very difficult to line the shot up in the first instance. The uh, the actual technique of quick scalping is quite easy. You know, it's uh, it's literally just pulling your your scope right to the very last second and fire. Um, the problem is getting it lined up in the first instance. Um, so what I use is my screen targets, which is the whole purpose of this video. Um, and if anyone would like a screen target they are welcome to purchase one off ebay uh, I will put a link in the description and around everywhere so you know exactly where you can get them they are absolutely dirt cheap and they work wonders what they do is they help you line up your shot before you actually fire it now so long as you are standing still nine times out of ten you will hit that quick scope because you know where the where the sniper is going to scope into before you scope in, and the moment you scope in and fire, the uh, moment you've got that 
that kill basically, so I mean, give them a shot. You know, they work wonders for me, I won't be able to play like this without them. Um, I've had so many people telling me how much they've improved the game by using them. Um, I've had people tell me their games improved tenfold by using them, so I mean, go for it. Uh, obviously, it's not just down to those. I mean, they do help a lot, but I mean, obviously, you've got to have your tactics there, which hopefully watching YouTube videos, you know, will help improve. I mean, I try and offer advice where I can. Like I say, in this one, you know, patrol an area, uh, keep your back to the wall, basically. Listen, use your ears, use your senses, know the map. Um, once you're you know, familiar with all these sort of things, that helps massively. You know, I, I can hear where someone is and know exactly what they're going to be doing. Well, give or take. And, uh, you know, that gives me... Obviously, I didn't hear that guy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had him pwn me in the backside. Um, but I got my revenge on him. Um, yeah, so... Ooh, so, 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 I don't know what to talk about. Um... I've had a few whinges about various things, one of them being idiots and morons. I just, I don't, I really don't suffer fools gladly. I, just, I can't put up with idiots. People with no common sense, people who won't listen, people who don't read, people who just assume what they think is right when actually it's not. And the repercussions of that are sometimes dire, well not dire, but completely utterly irritating. Uh, take eBay for example. Now obviously I sell uh, a quite high volume of low cost items on eBay and sometimes I get the odd numpty who doesn't read thoroughly what is listed in the auction and then when they receive the item despite the fact that I have a full explanation and a video of the product on sale they still misunderstand what the item is for and leave negative feedback. Now, even with a returns policy, they're just quick to leave negative feedback. I post items first class, I offer returns for unused items, there's a full description in the video, yet people still leave negative feedback because it's not what they thought it was. How fucking stupid is that? It's absolutely ridiculous. And. It's the same with, like, domination and demolition. It's like, why can't people just listen to you and, you know, take what you're saying as good advice? Like, why do people always rush into the spawn? Why do they think that rushing into the spawn makes them a good player? Yeah, they might get two or three kills, which is two or three kills more than they would have done normally, but it messes up the spawn for everybody else and it fucks up the game and pisses me the fuck off. And thinking about it, I've probably got to reduce my uh, swearing now with a, with a little one around. But, uh, yeah, we'll just have to see, won't we? Anyway, um, it's coming to the end now. One more, one more kill. I was hoping my Harriers did it, but afraid not. Um, I'm probably going to disable comments but you can, I want to encourage comments on Twitter so I'll put my Twitter details on there if you want to comment um, I'll put a link to YouTube, uh, YouTube. I mean eBay on there so you can get yourself a screen target um, that's pretty much it so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video guys and take care and I will speak to you soon